Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. HD Gamer 101 here, back with another video for you guys. This time, we are learning about KVM switches, and what they are and what they do. So, I guess we'll go ahead and get right on with it. So KVM stands for Keyboard, Video, and Mouse. Now KVM switches, which is what I have, I have a Treadnet, and don't remember exactly what it was, i say it a little bit later. Um, so I got an old Treadnet one and broke it out to see really what it was. And KVMs are very interesting and very simple machines. Um, what they do is they allow you to um, plug in multiple inputs to them, multiple video inputs to them and then have it ex all export to one monitor and one keyboard and one mouse. So one keyboard and one mouse and one monitor all control however many different computers you have plugged into it. Now in this case, I have a four port KVM. You can get a two port. You can get a 64 port. There, you can you pretty much any number in between there. Um, it's pretty simple. Most KVMs use a VGA connection because KVMs are usually used in server rooms so that way the servers can be connected all up to one KVM, one 64 port KVM and then you just press the button for which one you want and then you can control that server. Now you can use these in home situations pretty easily. Uh, all you really have to do is have multiple desktops if you use multiple desktops like I may in the future use multiple desktops, one for a workstation and one for my gaming computer, uh, I would use a KVM to switch between those two. KVMs are pretty cheap, they're not that expensive, uh, pretty readily available as well. Most of the, You're not going to find a whole bunch of new KVMs because they're not as popular a thing anymore, but you can still find new ones that are HDMI and DVI, not just VGA, just VGA is a standard. And because KVMs are normally used on servers, the servers don't need to have a graphics card, and so you would just use the uh, onboard video of the processor, which is usually VGA. So that's just about it for the history behind KVMs and what KVMs really are. They're very simple to use, like I already said. So we'll get right into the how to use an actual KVM. Understanding a KVM is very simple. This exact KVM, this is the Treadnet, Treadnet um, TK407K. This is definitely an older KVM, no doubt about it. But I found it and it should work. Hopefully it works. So a KVM is a pretty simple thing, like I already explained to you. This KVM is a four switch, or a four port KVM. Which means it can take four inputs and output it to one output. This one does not include audio, but it does include um, video and uh, inputs and stuff. So right here on the front, this is where our console is. This is our monitor. So our monitor VGA. And then our uh, keyboard and mouse inputs. Then over here we have our PC uh, number three. This is our input. PC number two and one are right here. And then PC four is right here. And of course on the top you have the buttons, one, one, two, three, and four to switch between them. And yeah, so I guess we'll go ahead and set this up for you guys. Real quick before we start though, this is one of the cables that get this KVM came with. So we're just gonna go ahead and open it up. So this KVM has very VGA looking uh, inputs right here, but that's not VGA. That's a serial input. So this is really the inside you would uh, plug in, but that side also has the USB connected to it. And then that, or this would be what would plug into the KVM. And then this side, which has your VGA, or which you would plug into your computer, and then also your USB cable that you would also plug into your computer. So now we will go ahead and set this up for you guys. So guys, the setup on the computer end of this is very simple. All you do is you take your VGA cable, you plug it into your VGA 
slot on your computer. In this case, I'm using my laptop. And then your USB cable into a free USB slot. Boom. And now what you do is you take the other end of your cable and you plug it into your uh, KVM. In this case, I want this to be PC1, so it would go in right up here. And boom. See, we got a blinking light. That means that uh, KV, there we have one plugged in. So now you're just going to do that for all of your computers that you want to set up. Now I'll show you the uh, other side of this, connecting this to your monitor. So now to connect your uh, KVM to your monitor, all you're going to do is take your VGA cable, plug it into the console port of your KVM, take that down a little bit, and then you're going to take the other end of your cable and you're going to plug it into your monitor. In this case, I am. Uh, that's going to take a little while, so I'm going to do that off camera. But you can't, like I already said, you can buy newer KVMs that have like HDMI or DVI and not VGA. So uh, yeah, don't don't think that it's only VGA because it's not. Okay guys, so I have my KVM set up with uh, three different computers. One, two of them being laptops, one here and one over here off screen you can't see. And then my desktop, not my desktop because it doesn't have VGA out. But another desktop that's under my uh, under my desk. And right now, as you guys can see, sorry about the lines running through the screen. There's not a lot I can do about that. The uh, camera is at 60 hertz, and that's at 59.94. And then for some reason, it's just not close enough. So um, yeah. So I have the uh, over here KVM right there. It's plugged in with the mouse and keyboard. Now, since we're using USB 1.1, is how old this uh, this thing is. So my computer or my uh, keyboard there doesn't light up very well. Um, so yeah, but the key the mouse still does. And uh, I've run into some problems, but first off, uh, it's already on switch four right now, which is the desktop down here. And I don't know if you guys can really tell. You guys can see the cursor right there. So this mouse, as you guys can see that I was just using, it moved. So I can go ahead and click on boys. Let's see if I can remember the password. Uh, yep, yeah, and there we go. It, it works in the, it's not plugged into that computer down here. It's plugged, it's plugged into these two right there. Perfect, found new hardware. Yeah, because I took the graphics card out of this thing. Uh, cancel. Yeah, 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 okay. And there we go, we're logged into that super old Windows XP computer. Now this is where things get a little weird. I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to uh, port. Um, we're going to go ahead and switch it over to one right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit. One. And stuff flashed. I don't know if you guys saw that. From the left hand side it flashed and it actually flashed up over here. Now for some reason, this KVM does not like laptops. Because it's already got one monitor and it likes it if it is the only monitor. If it's outputting to its only monitor and not two monitors, because that's really what the KVM is for. It's to output a server to a multiple servers to a single monitor and not have a monitor already hooked up. And also does the other thing that as well if we switched over to uh, three, which is the other laptop, it flashes and uh, it's kind of hard to see the flashing, but it does flash. And yeah, let's go ahead and try going back to one right now. See if it flashes on screen. Ah, just my laptop flash there. But trust me, it does work. KVMs do work. They don't work well with laptops, but if you have multiple desktops or multiple servers, a KVM is definitely what you want to get. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this kind of short video on how to use a KVM switch, which uh, KVM, by the way, I already told you means keyboard, video, mouse, KVM. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment if you have any questions or concerns. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and more gaming videos. So guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.